Okay, uh, I wanted to do a parts review, kind of a option, something we want to talk about with the Monte Carlo. I know some of you out there is enjoying these videos with the uh, talking about these Monte Carlos. There's not a lot of Monte Carlo specific content on the internet. Um, so here's something I wanted to talk about. Um, as an option on a 72 Monte Carlo Custom. 72, that's custom. Was a belt line trim. Uh, it comes standard on a custom. That's the only car this trim came standard on. It could be ordered starting in 1970, uh, I want to say later in the model year. Um, 1970 with uh, trim. I added it to this car. I added it to this car. And I added it to that car. And I also added it, uh, no, this was the only car that actually had it when I bought the car, but um, I'm not sure if it came with it or not. But anyway, because this car is not a custom. It looks the part, but it's not. This trim is a, a stylish accessory to a Monte Carlo, I think. Um, it is semi hard to find. You, um, can't buy it reproduction and you wouldn't want to just like anything stainless that's made you wouldn't want to um, you'll have to dig around uh, I have several extra sets uh, available if you see the video and you, you decide it's something you want to do um, but you have to order the biggest thing that I want to put out there especially if you're doing this trim you've got to order the window fuzzy set with special molding because if you don't you're going to get this with a little skinny piece of bead of trim attached to this and that is not the right stuff for the molding this is just a rubber piece of molding that attaches to the trim and then the trim three screws here and actually the factory had three screws but i usually add a couple more drill a hole and add a couple more to get a better um attachment to the door also another reason i usually add more screws is because this reproduction molding is so sorry it don't want to fit and it don't want to lay against the door the right way so add more screws through the molding and the door and the chrome piece into the door even drilling through all three will make it really uh take hold like it's supposed to so keep that in mind it might be something you have to do if any of you out there has a better suggestion on what kind of brand of this stuff to buy uh, please suggest it. I've tried several different uh, repops and the repop brand and then there's some other brands we've tried and I, I have not had much luck with it. I end up usually having to use screws to get it to actually hold. So if I take the screws out, the molding will actually fall off the, the, the fuzzy itself. But um, so I had ex ex several extra, there's usually a screw here a screw here and a screw here. I usually add a, put a screw, put a screw here, here, and then add one here and here. So add usually two on each side where the long piece has five screws holding it on instead of the factory that had three. Because again, the reproduction window fuzzy is just not that good. So in review, uh, Monte Carlo belt line molding, they're all uh, specific moldings. They're curved to the contour of the quarter panel. This side, the only way you can really tell the difference is the angle and pitch of this uh, end, end piece here. Um, otherwise, they kind of look identical, so be careful about that. Okay, that's all I want to talk about with the uh, belt line trim. Any questions, comments, concerns, pl please let me know. Thanks.